viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode we continue looking at the 2021 GCE Science Paper 2. Let us look at question B2. Question B2 figure B2.1 shows a separation technique used to separate miscible liquids. So if you look at the diagram, uh, basically we have the thermometer, fractionating column, glass beads, and bumping granules, then we have the mixture of miscible uh, liquids, then we have water in, a distrait, a rear bank condenser, then water out, then stand. Question A, what is the name of the separation technique? So if you look carefully at this one, uh, you notice that basically this is a fractional uh, distration. So, um, fractional distression is uh, basically uh, the method used to separate a uh, mixture of miscible liquids. So, basically, um, these uh, miscible uh, liquids they have different uh, boiling points. So, it's these different boiling points which are key to separating these liquids. So uh, in most cases we discover that uh, these uh, liquids that are being separated should have at least uh, basically uh, the interval of around uh, 20 degrees Celsius apart in terms of uh, boiling points. Let us move to question B. What is the purpose of the grass beads in the fractionating column? So uh, the gas beads are here. So what is uh, basically its uh, purpose? So the purpose of these uh, gas beads is basically uh, to provide, so provide a large surface area for odd uh, vapors to cool and condense and condense repeatedly so that's the purpose so basically what you notice here is uh, this is key uh, because grasses are chemically very stable. So when you put these uh, grass beads, they will not uh, react with uh, most of the substance. So because of this, I will discover that uh, the collected uh, liquids will remain intact in its uh, pure form. Grasses are rarely reactive. We move to question C. Why is the rear, rear big condenser kept in the slanting position as shown in figure B2.1? So why is this uh, kept in this uh, slanting position? That's what we are required to explain. So what you notice here in this case, uh, if you go to C, uh, these are uh, basically allow gravity so is to allow gravity to move move the liquid district to a separate flask or basically a beaker. So what will happen is uh, because of this sand uh, positioning, this uh, vapor once it condenses it will move easily down to here. If it was uh, upward the liquid will come down inside. If it is just a uh, thread it will be uh, there will be no pressure to to go uh, 
this direction it's most likely to start going backwards so this ranking position allows it to move uh, down here easily that's uh, basically the purpose let us look at question D apart from the mixture of miscible liquids name two other mixtures which can be separated using this separation technique so uh, basically uh, the first one would be basically crude oil so crude oil is basically uh, separated using a uh, fractional distortion so you separate uh, basically a uh, kerosene petrol a uh, diesel and uh, basically uh, you also get a, a bitumen from a uh, crude oil number two uh, also you can separate liquid air using a fraction distortion uh, depending on their boiling points so a uh, different liquid air they have got different boiling points so this uh, method can be used number three also you can separate uh, ethanol and water using uh, this uh, method so this method is very uh, important in a chemistry because it is used uh, in the separation of a number of uh, products that are manufactured in uh, industry uh, basically uh, using a uh, chemistry so basically this is how you answer this question to get uh, the optimal marks